at most events, put down your phone and enjoy the experience would be solid advice, but not at the Singapore Art Week. This year's edition combines art and technology. And the center of it all, your cell phone. An app lets you watch the installations come to life through augmented reality. There's more than 100 events this month, from a public art walking trail to talks, tours, fairs, and gallery openings. Angela Ten is here with me. She is the Assistant Director of Sector Development at National Arts Council. Hi, Angela. So one thing that caught my attention is that you say you want to show that visual arts is for everyone with this project and you're actually organizing this for the whole family. I wonder why your focus is on this. Do you feel like this is a perspective that is lacking from most art events these days? I think for us, we feel that art is for everyone, um, including whether or not you are someone who enjoys the arts, you go to arts events regularly. So this year, we were quite intentional to really look at um, different art events that could engage people at different um, interest points. So for example, um, there are actually many, like you mentioned, many family programs that are happening in um, the neighbourhoods. Um, we also have a lot of programs in the central business district where people are working and during lunchtime or after work, they can go for quite a number of the arts events. So for example, one of the really exciting programs that we have um, is an augmented reality um, public walking trail of public artworks um, and the offices, you know, and the four years of all these offices, beautiful artworks. Okay, so Angela, it's interesting that you mentioned the art trail because I was going to ask about that. When you... When I read about it, an art trail is obviously a public art walk for me. But then how does augmented reality come in? I mean, I, I understand that it's a collaboration with Facebook. So tell me how exactly it works. So um, the ART trail, which is a short form for augmented reality trail, um, basically is a collaboration and it was led um, by the Mesh Minds Foundation um, in Singapore. And they work with um, the technology um, that's provided by um, Facebook called, I think, the Spark AR technology. Um, and how it really works is that basically uh, we identified six public artworks in the central business district. Um, and they had worked with the artists who had were the original creators of this work, um, who then worked with the technologists to create digital animations of the work um, and put it into an entire augmented reality layer so that when you are there physically in front of the work, you are able to scan a QR code and then put your phone in front of the artwork. Um, and your, what would appear on the phone is not just a, a photo of the um, public artwork, uh, not just a photo of the public artwork, but also um, a digital animation of the public artwork. So it's almost as if that the public artwork is coming to life. So mm. one of the works, for example, is a beautiful work by the artist Kumari, um, and it's of all these seeds um, that are popping out um, out of the wall facade of the building in OUE. So that's a it's a really big piece piece of public artwork that's coming alive for people who work in that area. But also um, we have many public um, walking trails. Um, Actually, they're all sold out because we've had so much interest from this public art walk. Okay, Angela, it was good to have you on our show today. Thank you so much for joining us.